Taurus. Hey Taurus, welcome back to my channel. And this is the week ahead reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or wherever you have a heavy Taurus placement. Please keep in mind this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with every single Taurus. And for a week ahead, so it's a prediction, so you don't know yet. Yeah. So the first message we have here is this feeling won't go away. Hmm. Divine Feminine, I'm picking up on your energy with this card. There's a masculine in your energy field that you really don't know how to place. This could be someone that really confuses you, okay? And you may even hate to admit this, but they really have you in your head a lot lately because you're trying to understand why they make you feel this way, okay? This is someone you've been at a distance from for a while, but I'm getting that you don't truly understand why. And there's something very vague about the way this connection ended. Like there was some type of, of misunderstanding. But regardless of the way that things transpired, you still feel pretty open emotionally when you think about them. And this is something that's becoming very unsettling for you, okay? But just based on the nature of your connection, you really feel like this is something that may come back around in the near future. You are connected to a very powerful masculine energy and it's almost as if they know how sensitive you are to the way that they view you. And honestly, this is something they may use to their advantage and not in a malicious way, but especially in these moments when you're not together. This masculine's energy is coming through as someone who is very charismatic, okay? This is someone who knows all the right things to say and do when they're in your presence. So you may find yourself blushing a lot when you're in their presence or just when you think about them. But you often catch yourself really questioning a lot of their intentions. And I'm getting that you have a very good reason for doing so, okay? You feel this way, Divine Feminine, because you're someone who really understands the way that alignment works. So you know on a, on a spiritual level that when someone comes into your life, it's for a reason, okay? It could be for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. And this is what this person is currently triggering in you. They're triggering this need for you to really know the higher purpose of this connection because you feel that once you know the spiritual significance of your connection, then you'll be able to properly place them, okay? And this will also help you to understand how to engage them the next time that you align because I'm getting heavily, I don't know if this is like the dynamic of your connection, but although you are away from this person, you can feel their energy pulling close to you, okay? Let's get the next message here. Okay. So the next message we have here is root chakra. Wow. Okay, so honestly, the root chakra card coming out to describe your connection with this masculine is very telling. Okay, this also explains why you may have these feelings for them that you can't really explain. This is someone who is highly attracted to you. But what's interesting is that you're not their usual type. And this is not based on your looks. This is solely based on your energy, Divine Feminine. And because of the level of this masculine's energy, this is someone who for a very long time didn't really understand why they were attracted to you, okay? Coming into this connection, I'm getting your energies were very different. Their attraction to you is very, very intense though. And it's so intense that you can feel it when you're together and when you're apart. I'm also getting that their underlying energy will often expose them, okay? Especially their eye contact. So they may stare at you a lot when you're together, or just give you certain looks that are really loaded with heavy emotion, okay? The chemistry, specifically the physical chemistry, is off the charts. But this aspect of your connection really became a source of confusion for your person. And it really makes them wonder if there's more to this. I honestly feel like this is a message coming from their higher self 
explaining why they react to you in the way that they do. So you're connected to a masculine energy that has kind of been wired to form connections at the root chakra level. And so naturally, this was the approach that they took with you. This also explains why this connection pulls on them in ways that they have to learn to repress when dealing with you. So a connection that begins in the root chakra is one that can have a lot of challenges, okay? And it can be incredibly confusing because it's also laced with heavy physical attraction and a lot of magnetism. But on the other hand, it can definitely be riddled with a lot of fear-based thinking as well. So this is highlighting that your person came into this connection with a very 3D stance, okay? So looking at this from a spiritual standpoint, this is definitely pointing to the way in which this connection manifested and where your person's heart and mind was when they called in this connection with you. This also explains why the both of you feel that there's something heavily magnetic drawing the both of you together, okay? There's sort of like this heavy push and pull energy that's always happening in this connection. And from a spiritual aspect, it's almost like your energies are trying to find the right balance with one another, okay? But yeah, this masculine was definitely used to attracting a certain kind of feminine energy. They may have been really, really surface, but I'm getting that there's something here coming through about your internal energy versus your external energy, okay? Connections at the root level can be very, very surface. So your person may find you extremely physically attractive to them, okay? But there's something about what's going on on the inside of you that definitely, definitely played into a lot of the decisions that they made when they were in your presence, okay? Let's get the next message here. So the next message we have here is, I have to protect you. Hmm. If you're resonating with this message so far, there is something that you need to know that will definitely help you see yourself through the lens of your masculine. And I'm getting that you're at the stage of your connection where this is really important to you, okay? You really need to see or you really want to see how your person views you and how they view this connection. Your masculine feels that they have to protect you because they know something about themselves that you don't know. Divine Feminine, your energy is coming through as a very confident feminine energy. But you're also the type that likes to know exactly what it is that you're dealing with. And because you're sending this energy out into the universe, you are about to be faced with the truth about everything, okay? And this is on a spiritual level. So this may come in the form of you getting signs and synchronicities. However you receive spiritual downloads about information or people that are in your life this is how this energy is about to come to you okay and this is speaking directly to the way that your masculine handles you honestly this is something that they want to change and this is why they feel that you're not their usual type because there's a huge difference in the levels from which you love this is picking up on your person's core beliefs about feminine energy in general, okay? So they were definitely used to creating connections from their root chakra. So we're talking about very surface connections, not really allowing people in or just keeping things on a very primal level. And this is a result of them having a blocked heart chakra, okay? Rarely did this energy ever get a chance to rise up to the heart space. But with you, this is something that happened in a very organic way for them. And this is why it's very hard for them to fight what it is that they're feeling for you because you actually made them feel. And the thing about the emotions of a masculine, they are very, very powerful. And this is why they oftentimes go through great lengths to try to guard their heart space because they become bonded and linked with the feminine energy on a level that may even be too complex for them to understand. So the way their energy is coming through 
this is someone who's falling in love with you, okay? But they're learning that there are levels to love, okay? There's a huge difference between loving someone from the root versus loving someone from the heart space. And because of who you are, you naturally pull their energy to the heart space. And this is making them realize that the way they have been engaging you was all wrong. This is why they feel like they're protecting you from a side of them that they don't really want you to see, okay? But the truth is that you align with them in order to heal this aspect of their being. So this may be pointing to a connection that has had many false starts because of this. This masculine has very deep feelings for you, Divine Feminine, but because of their approach or just this underlying energy of your connection, they seriously had you wondering what was the actual source of their love, okay? Was this just a surface level connection or was there a legitimate reason why they responded to you in this way? So I definitely feel like this is giving you an inside look at what your person is dealing with on a soul level. This is also confirming that your person was very intentional about calling in this connection, but they had no idea that you were going to have this effect on them or their personal development and spiritual journey. And that's the thing about the twin flame journey. It's literally impossible to stay the same. It's something that changes you on every level, okay? It's also designed to open up your chakra system so that you can become a healthy, healed, balanced version of yourself. So in case you were wondering why you were feeling this way about your masculine, this is why, okay? It's like they would run towards you to experience this opening and then pull back because it made them not only face themselves, but it also showed them other aspects of their life where they were not living from their heart space, okay? And what's funny is that this is what they subconsciously think they're protecting you from. But I'm getting clearly that you already know this about them. Some of you actually had the opportunity to express this to your masculine. And the way you did this really set them down and made them think, okay? Others of you, your energy is so powerful that they can just feel this, okay? They can feel that you picked up on the fact that they were definitely coming from somewhere else. And that's the thing about being the Divine Feminine. Even though your person was trying to engage you in a certain kind of way, it's almost as if you had a deeper access to who they really were at their heart space, okay? Let's get the next message here. So the next message we have here is, I wasn't expecting this from you. <laughs> Yeah. You made them realize that they skipped a crucial step in this connection with you, okay? There are very important things that your person has yet to even bring up around you. And I'm getting that a lot of things were overlooked due to the way that this connection unfolded. And that's why this time away from you, it kind of feels like something they have to do, even if they really don't want to do it. Because this is someone who called in your energy before they were ready. And it caused a lot of disruption in their lives simply because the energy wasn't clear. So based on the level of attraction to you and based on their level or their understanding of love and connection, they manifested you. But because of where you're operating from spiritually, mentally, emotionally divine feminine, they didn't have a place for you to land in their lives. So because of the energetic vibration that they were living on and whatever they had sitting in place of your energy, this could be a person, place, or a thing. This is what's being cleared at this time. This is literally the spiritual significance of this separation. And they really want to keep this totally separate from you, okay? Yeah, there's also something coming through here about realities. Okay, in a sense that every single person that you encounter is actively existing on a different reality than you. And this is tied to their level of awareness and their internalized perception of the world. This is very powerful because it's really easy to get enmeshed with someone who is existing on an entirely different reality than you. And this can bring in all types of disagreements, okay? Because a lot of what you say will get lost in translation. 
But I'm getting that when it comes to you, Divine Feminine, based on who you are and what you've shown them, they kind of already knew that you were on a different timeline, okay? And it's because of the way that you engage them. There's something about your energy that lets them know that you have a very different understanding of what love is. You may even have had a different opinion of what relationship is and what it actually consists of. Yeah, there's so much that's being revealed to them about you at this time, Divine Feminine. And that's why this time away it definitely feels intentional. Okay, this is someone who left your energy with the intention to come back because of something that you said to them, something that you've shown them, okay, something that you revealed to them by way of your energy, which communicated very firmly about the way that you love or a certain expectation that you have around love, okay? So whether you know it or not, this time that you're spending away from one another is very, very intentional. There's such a spiritual undertone to this, okay? It's almost as if your energy has inspired them to establish a new reality or a new way of living that is very, very different from the way that they initially presented themselves to you. And they didn't expect you to do this at all, okay? This may be a masculine that came into this connection that didn't have any expectations, okay? But what they didn't expect was for them to run into someone who had the ability to raise their energy in such a way, okay? This is absolutely someone who came into your life who had a totally different reality based on life, love, relationships, and you have completely shifted this in such an organic way. Let's get the next message here. So the next message we have here is, you bring out another side of me. Mm -hmm. Divine Feminine, I'm getting that. Initially, you may have felt as if this entire connection was like a game to them, okay? That this was someone who was very, very charismatic, someone who was very easy on the eyes, very charming, um, someone who definitely had this ability to get your attention and make you feel things that you never felt before. But there was always this resistance when it came to going deeper, okay? It's almost as if they're trying to describe how it feels to have this energy rising to their heart space. And they want you to know that you've managed to do something that not a lot of feminine energies can do, which is open the heart space of their masculine, okay? If you only knew how open you have them emotionally, this would really change the way that you read into their actions, okay? And this is what they want you to know at this time. They really attribute a lot of what they're experiencing to having this connection with you. And because of how you present, something that seriously just keeps coming up. So um, I don't know what it is about you, but they find you so physically appealing to them. This is someone that didn't know how to respond to you in a proper way because of the way that you physically stimulated them, okay? You may have even felt or question your own energy or the vibe that you were given off because of this. But it's only because they didn't know how to properly channel this energy, this attraction, this desire. All of this stuff is really stemming from the root chakra, okay? And somewhere along their journey, they adopted the belief that this was acceptable in connection. But now they're feeling like you did something to them that made them view you differently. And they're leaning more toward the non-physical aspect of your connection, which is making them realize that while they do find you to be very attractive and alluring, that's not enough to sustain your connection, okay? So now that this energy is being pulled up to the heart space, they're really trying to find ways to show you how they feel about who you are on the inside versus how you present externally, okay? Let's get the last message here. Wow. The last message we have is, I always get what I want. Hmm. It's a very bold masculine energy as well, okay? This is someone who you are very, very attracted to, Divine Feminine. I'm just picking up on 
high intensity, like a high level of attraction, a high level of chemistry. Everything may feel heightened in this connection because this is someone that you really, really like, okay? You're very, very attracted to them. But this last card here is deep because when this energy usually comes out, there's like this cocky undertone, right? Where this masculine is kind of describing how they feel about you. But this is really tapping into the manifestation of love, but on a spiritual level. And it's really giving you a closer look at the underlying energy of your connection. There could be a lot of questions around the type of energy that your masculine possesses, okay? And how they truly view you because of that. I'm getting clearly that your energy has given them a serious wake-up call, Divine Feminine, where they're realizing that every single connection is merely a reflection of where they are mentally. So they may have prejudged certain people that they were linked to or even made assumptions based on how the connection unfolded, but they're being hit with the truth that they were simply being presented with everything that they were desiring on a deep spiritual level. And I feel like this is a part of themselves that has been brought to their attention by way of your energy. When they aligned with you, there was definitely this clash of your worlds, which led to a lot of false starts and misunderstanding. And it was because of your person's understanding of love. This came to a complete halt <laughs> with you, Divine Feminine. And it's the way that you did this that's being highlighted. I'm getting that you did this with genuine curiosity. There's something very inquisitive about your energy where you're not really afraid to assert yourself and get clarity when you need it, especially when it comes to matters of your heart and who you mix your energy with. For you, connection is way more spiritual than it is physical. So even though they may have had an adverse reaction to you because they were not used to your level of depth, they actually respect you more. And you've kind of made them self-reflect in a way that no one ever has before. So when they say, I always get what I want, I feel like this is a deep acknowledgement that everything they've ever had is due to what they truly wanted at their core. And because their desires are moving from the root center to the heart space, they really feel like they have a chance of establishing a healthy, loving, solid connection with you because now their desire is stemming from a pure place. And the more the energy reveals itself, the more they feel like they're being pulled in your direction, Divine Feminine. I'm also getting something here about communication that's coming through. The way that you communicate with one another will be changing in a major way over the next couple of weeks. So this is someone that had a very specific way of communicating with you, but they're being guided to take a different approach. So for example, if they would reach out to you via text, they may begin to email you with more lengthy messages. Or if they used to only communicate by email or text, they may begin to call you. Um, if you're used to just talking on the phone, they may begin to video call you or FaceTime because now they want to see you while you talk, okay? Something is shifting around in this area and it's definitely going to help them express themselves in a better way. I just got raw as well. So this type of communication may take a while for you to get used to Divine Feminine because they have been definitely holding back from you in a major way. So when it comes out, it's definitely going to come out, <laughs> okay? A lot of how your person truly views you within their heart space is going to be reflected to you in the way that they engage you, okay? This is definitely a person who came into this connection not really knowing that their heart was going to be penetrated in this way. They may have tried to keep things very, very surface with you, but it didn't last long. Okay, a lot of unexpected events took place in this connection and I'm getting that your person even showed themselves a lot to you. Okay, so this is someone that you've been kind of confused about. This is someone that there may have been a lot of false starts in this connection, a lot of misunderstandings around what you agree to be a healthy, loving relationship. Okay, but I'm getting that there's something about your energy where you were literally sent to raise 
this masculine's energy to change their view on love and on connection, okay? And this is something that they want to share with you. So you feel that they're about to approach you or you feel like they're about to come back toward you. But when they do, okay, there will be a difference in the way that they are engaging you, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and end the reading here. If you resonated with this message, please be sure to hit the like button on your way out. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.